Phnom Penh, Cambodia. Two hours after arriving here, we find ourselves in a police station being questioned for six hours. Our crime? Droning. The next day, ten more hours of questioning. They took my drone. They took my phone. But you know what they can't take? My heart. Whether they like it or not, we are gonna make the best damn food videos this country has ever seen. Let's go. Today we're in Cambodia's capital, Phnom Penh. This noisy, energetic city is home to what was once Asia's largest market. Hi, hi, is this Central Market? Yes, Central Market. Welcome to Central Market. Built in 1937, Phnom Penh Central Market draws swarms of travelers and locals alike. And I even found a few fans of the show. Today on the Best Ever Food Review Show, we eat quick quick. What the hell is that? Let's find out. This place has everything. You can shop for clothes, buy some fresh produce, haggle over jewelry or electronics. You can even get a fish cut in half and you're only steps away from a deep hair washing. But I'm not here for any of that. I've been sent directly by the food gods themselves to find the best tasty treats this place has to offer. Now, what kind of fruit is this? We'll try some yummy desserts. Let's try that. Um, this thing, one of these, and a few things I've never seen before. What is this? Step one, find a joint that's super busy with zero Westerners. You can see this place is super popular, mainly among locals. The whole place is packed, even the person next to me. Hi there. Hi. Where are you from? Um, from Phnom Penh. From Phnom Penh? Yeah. Why do you think there are like no no foreigners here? Um, uh, they, they don't know what the food is and um, they, they're scared about like because this is all uh, organ meat. Yeah. yeah they're, they're, so they're a little scared. Foreigners are a little scared of the organ meat. Some of y'all think you're travelers, but your food game is weak. Okay, you're afraid of uh, food poisoning or oh, I don't want to eat a chicken butt or a cow testicle, or whatever this is. If you don't know what it is, all you have to do is ask. First on today's menu, an assortment of mysterious skewered organ meats. Is this intestine? Intestine? Stomach. 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 Liver? Meatballs. Meatball. And then that's pork. Intestine? Yeah. Skin. Yeah. Ear. Ah, pork ear. This looks like really like one of those hair follicle diagrams. That's good too. Can I ask you, what is your favorite one? Uh, meatball. Meatball. Lung. Oh, that's lung. Yep, that's lung. Do I have lung? Yeah, this one. This one. Oh my god. I don't know that I've ever had lung, and I thought it would be more, you know, hollow inside. For the where, like, where does the air go? Somehow the air goes in here, and the animal can breathe. They really all have a similar smell and a, a bit similar taste but I think it's all about the texture. They all have like a different feeling. Yeah. That's good. Do you like the, the lung? Do you like the texture? Yeah, I like it. Mmm. The lung has, it's like chewy, but not, not hard. So it's kind of chewy and soft at the same time. So it's all about finding the texture that works for you. This spot is adorable. Next time you're at Central Market in Phnom Penh and you see these skewers, I mean, they're about 25 cents a skewer. Give it a try, you know? What do you have to lose? I mean, well, aside from the obvious, but just, come on, do it. You gotta build up your immune system eventually. From your restaurant, what is your most famous dish? I have some noodle soup. Mm. And I have a fried noodle, and I have a chicken with a steamed rice, and okay. I have a fresh steamed roll. All of that sounds amazing, but I'm looking for something a little more next level than fried rice or spring rolls. It's as big as my head! Central Market also has a huge seafood selection, including whatever the heck this thing is. It looks like if you had a lobster and then just cut off the tail, and then somehow just the tail was alive still. <laughs> Ah, you got me. Uh, eggs. Eggs. Wow. No, I'm okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'm finished. That little guy's will to live is strong. But for this next food, well, it's too late. How much is this one? 5,000. This is 5,000? Cool? We cool? Found it. Boosh, thank you. Somebody posted on YouTube a while back saying that I should eat squid. 
The thing is, you know you've lived in Asia for way too long when squid is no longer weird. It's just kind of normal now. Like even in Korean movie theaters, they sell buttered squid and popcorn. Like you can get squid and popcorn at the theater in Korea and probably other countries too. So today she has uh, barbecued up some squiddies and I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat them. You, you understand how this works by now, right? I get the food and then I eat it. But what happens after that? Nobody knows. Oh, I'm not even exaggerating. It tastes really good. And the, the little ends, you know, you could call it like the little finger of the squid. They're kind of crunchy and burned. All, they're all carcinogen-y. It's perfect. It tastes so good. I mean, it feels so good. It feels and tastes right. If you are trying to slowly get into, you know, travel foods, I'm going to try this new thing. Don't start with the coconut worm. Don't start with that. But do start with some squid because it doesn't have a strong flavor. It often just tastes like whatever sauce you put it in and the texture. It's, you know, everyone's had calamari. So it's not that much different than that, just without the breading. Ah! Oh, can I look at it? This one, banana. Whoa. Banana. This is banana? Yes. What is that one? Palm. Like a palm tree? Yeah. You can eat a palm tree? I didn't know you could do that. Okay, we're gonna try uh, this because it always freaks me out when I see it because it looks like bars of soap. So there are a ton of these desserts where you put the ice in the dessert to keep it cool, but also you get the crunch of the ice. It might seem a little bit odd at first, but it, there's so much that's right about it. Okay, again, she said this is palm. I, I don't know, someone in the comments can correct me and call me an idiot, but I don't know what it is for sure. To me, it looks like a bar of soap, and I love the smell of soap. So let's hope it's also the taste of soap. What? Okay, here we go. Whoa, oh, I'm getting a little fish, a little fish. Fish smell all mixed in. I'm so confused. I just looked over and there's like 10 stalls of raw beef over here and fish. Wow, this is probably the most like meaty, substantial fruit I've ever had. It's almost like the potato of fruits. It's just a little bit sweet from the condensed milk, but the coconut doesn't really add to any of the sweetness. Wow, we found something kind of crazy, guys. Isn't that crazy? What's your name? Please. Your name? Yeah. Uh, Saravian. Saravian? Yes. Wow, beautiful name. Okay, <laughs> sorry, let me go down to your level. Okay, no, come back. Where, what's what happening? I, uh, <laughs> Why are you red? So everybody likes this one? Yeah. Ah, okay. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> this has been uh, entertaining and insightful. I think we learned a lot. Do you agree? Yes? Yes. Okay, well, could you tell me, what is this one? Uh, it's sweet. The name Cha Cha. Cha Cha? Cha Cha. This is fried. Yeah. Uh, it's, oh, everything's fried, I think. Fried. Okay. Fried. Okay. I'm pretty sure I've had these before. The, there's, it's just basically sweet fried dough, but it is the texture is so perfectly chewy. And again, it's just kind of like a big piece of dough that's been fried, and there's nothing wrong with that. Inside is super doughy still. I mean, it's cooked, but it's doughy. And the outside is crunchy. And together, it's what God intended, you know, for us to eat. That's probably my favorite dessert in Southeast Asia, is that one right there. Wrapping things up with one final dessert, a classic found all over Cambodia, the fried banana. This is a fried banana. They've made a batter. Okay, we got a batter and there's egg, there's rice, there's coconut and sugar, and that's what's coating uh, the outside of this banana. It smells very banana-y in, in a fried way, very good. Good. It doesn't look like, oh my God, I have to have that. But it has such a nice exoskeleton crunch the best kind of banana exoskeleton, and then a soft, sweet banana on the inside. It's hard on the outside and a little sensitive on the inside, like me.
This is only a tiny fraction of the food available at Central Market. Next time you're in town, don't be afraid to try something new. And remember, don't think, just chew. Happy Lunar New Year. Uh, I hope all your lunar dreams come true. Uh, maybe throw me a sub, or I mean, or don't. Uh, whatever feels right, that's what you should do. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. What's up from Vietnam? Peace.